Audrey because you know I was sort of this maverick guy who I was sort of left for dead by the medical profession and I had this burning desire to help myself even though I wasn't getting it from the place that I thought I should so I was fortunate enough to stumble across certain aspects of natural medicine and it so captivated me I was so um, passionate about it that I began like this search first it was just for myself then I, I got really good at finding you know little known therapies and people who were doing things that nobody knew anything about and certainly at that time that I'm talking about in the in the 1970s there was an antagonism between medicine and alternative medicine it's gotten a lot different these days it's much more uh, not so much such an antagonistic relationship but back then wow it was really really that way right so I'm I'm just a kid I'm, I'm 18 or 19 years old trying to sort through all this and what happened was I, I was able to help myself significantly right so I got just I turned into mr. passion when it came to health and nutrition and all that so by 1993 I was offered a radio program so that I could just share this and I realized that not only could I share a lot of the things that I had figured out, I knew how to find the people who were the experts who could share the information. And I was excited about that because I could give them a voice. For the first time, these people who were sort of underground and didn't have an ability to speak and you know were, were, were trampled by the pharmaceutical industry and the medical profession, now they had a voice, right? So I want you to imagine for a second, I start this radio program right out of the gate. It's really popular. Then I started getting all this information from PR firms and you know different books and Doctors, before long experts. they're all coming pouring in wanting to be on the radio program because they they love the fact that they have this voice now right so I started accumulating all this information at some point I started realizing wow there's so much of it that a woman oriented towards women it's like an inordinate amount was more oriented towards women I started thinking that's fascinating I wouldn't I would not have thought that then I started interviewing experts on women's health. After I would interview an expert, my phone lines would be ringing off the hook. Not just on the air calls, which I took, it was a live show, okay. but afterwards I had a, I had a voicemail. And it, sometimes as many as 200 calls would come in to this voicemail. And I would be thinking, oh my God. Now I'm you know, working like crazy <laughs> to call women back and talk to them to try and figure out what, you know, that they had a question for me and I made myself available. I wanted to make sure that I answered the questions. But think about what was happening. All of a sudden, I'm becoming sort of like this go-to person, almost like a, the middle person between the expert and the, 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 the lady, the consumer, the, 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 the patient, whatever it may be. And they weren't asking to talk to the expert. They wanted my advice because they knew I knew what the expert was talking about because I was able to interview them, ask them questions and all that. But they could tell that I, 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 I could take that information that the expert was talking about and put it into usable, understandable terms for them. So you were the voice for the women as well as the experts. I was, I was. And then what happened, I realized is, what I realized is I have the ability to not only help them with their questions, but I can go back to the expert because now these people are, I have their contact information. They allow me to talk you know, with them. Yeah. I have their book. I have all this great information. So it turned out that I learned so much so fast by talking to women, hearing what they had to say, going back to the experts and figuring out what they, how they might be able to help. Then the women going back to them and say, do this. And then they would do it and they'd come back to me and report. So I was getting unbelievable amounts of, of quality information from hundreds and hundreds of ladies. Right? So after a period of time, if you can imagine, it didn't take long that I, I had already spoken to thousands of women. And it, at some point, it didn't turn into just, I'm calling them back because they have a question about a hot flash. I was literally started to you know, help, mentor, coach, counsel, and direct them. Because what I found out was, it didn't matter how great the expert was. These women were really confused. They were overwhelmed. They um, were skeptical. They had this kind of, they were fed up with a lot of the, the way things were going. It wasn't just modern standard medicine. It was, it was also the alternative medical field. There were issues that weren't getting addressed. So then I had this big epiphany. I realized that one day, 